I'm the only candidate in this race who has been part of the hard decisions to take terrorists off the battlefield. So let's not get diverted and distracted by the kind of campaign rhetoric we hear coming from the other side. This is a serious challenge. We are well equipped to meet it, and we can do so in keeping with smart law enforcement, good intelligence, and in concert with our values. And I think it's important for voters to hear this and weigh it in making their choice in November. We know that a lot of the rhetoric we've heard from Donald Trump has been seized on by terrorists, in particular ISIS, uh, because they are looking to make this into a war against Islam. Rather than a war against jihadists, violent terrorists, people who number in the maybe tens of thousands, not the tens of millions, they want to use that to recruit more fighters to their cause by turning it into a religious conflict. That's why I've been very clear. We're going after the bad guys and we're going to get them, but we're not going to go after an entire religion and give ISIS exactly what it's wanting in order for them to enhance their positions. I am uh, prepared to, ready to actually take on those challenges, not engage in a lot of you know, irresponsible, reckless rhetoric, but to do the hard work, as I've done before, to put into place the strategies for local and state law enforcement, for an intelligence surge, for the kind of preventive actions that we need to take here at home, and uh, to intensify uh, our efforts to defeat ISIS. You don't hear a plan from him. He keeps saying he has a secret plan. Well, the secret is he has no plan. <laughs>